Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Juan Solo here with A-Squad Gaming and welcome back to the channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in today for some more Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new trailer for the Deep State DLC coming to Ghost Recon Breakpoint that went up earlier today. And there is a lot to talk about when it comes to things in this trailer. They showcase some of the story content. They showcase some of the new items and stuff that's going to be coming to the game as well as some new icon skins. So real quick before we jump into it, if you guys go on to enjoy the video, a like rating would be super appreciated also for those of you that may be new to the channel make sure to subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you do not miss any of my future uploads there will definitely be 10 plus videos going up this week and some of them might be at strange times so make sure to ring that bell notification icon so you can be informed when my videos go live so without further ado guys i'm going to play the ghost recon breakpoint deep state trailer for you and then we will come back and talk about it Nomad. Glad you haven't gone soft since Bolivia. Let's go. We need to talk. So, what brings the mighty Sam Fisher to Aurora? I'm after someone called the Strategist. He's been kidnapping military specialists all over the world. If I can get him in front of Congress, they should be able to authorize an invasion of Aroa. So they'll finally send in the cavalry. Right. But for now, it's just us. Wonderland requires vision. May I present Project Claw? So there you guys have it. That is the new Deep State DLC trailer for Ghost Recon Breakpoint that's going to be releasing tomorrow morning, March 24th. And I do have to say there's no way that they could have opened up this trailer any more badass than having Sam Fisher having someone in a headlock and shooting the other guy. This was absolutely fantastic to open up the trailer and it just basically snowballs from there. And he definitely looks a little bit older being the fact that the events of Ghost Recon Breakpoint are six years after the events of the last time we saw him in Ghost Recon Wildland. And next in the trailer, it goes through some industrial areas as well as the solar power plant that is also on the island of Aroa. And it ends up at this place here, which I believe is a brand new location to Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I don't ever remember seeing this location before. And they did mention that in the patch notes that there will be brand new locations to explore in the open world. And I believe there will be a number of those new locations and I cannot wait to go check those out. And also you can see here this really short clip here shows the new shock pistol that's going to be coming with the Echelon class, which originally we did not know that there was going to be a second class coming with this title update. Originally it was only supposed to be the Engineer class, but I am really excited to check out the Echelon class. I would assume it's very similar to the Panther class, but I'm assuming there are also going to be some unique abilities, otherwise there would be no point to having this class. And also talking about the Echelon class, as you guys can see here, this is the sonar goggles that you're going to be able to use. I believe this is the special ability of this character, and it will allow you to send out a pulse similar to the old sonar goggles in the original Splinter Cell days, where you're going to be able to see through walls and see enemies through walls and stuff like that. Which, to be honest, I find to be really, really cool. I'm very interested to see how this is going to work in PvP. Also, for those of you that did not know, you can play the first mission without owning the Year One Pass and without owning the DLC, and 
and you will gain access to one of the new pistols as well as Sam Fisher's sonar goggles which is really exciting but you do have to pay for the DLC after that to play the rest of it. And then also as you can see here this looks to be the main villain of the DLC. You can notice that he is in a wheelchair there and he has some sort of a headset on and what looks to be a drone swarm in front of him. That is going to be very interesting to see exactly what that's going to be. And then they also hint at that this is called Project Claw when they're talking. So this should be very interesting to see exactly how this is going to play out with the DLC. And moving along in the trailer to this shot right here. This is by far the best shot in the entire trailer. We have Sam Fisher sitting on the right and we have Victor Cost sitting right in the middle of the frame. For those of you that have not played the OG Splinter Cell games, Victor Cost was Sam Fisher's right hand man. Most of the time he was narrating through the game and he was on the other end of the comms. He was such an iconic character to the franchise and I am extremely excited to see that he has came back. As well as over on the left hand side you can see the Blacklist helicopter. And as you guys can see here we will also be getting the 4th Echelon gear set which looks to be very similar to what the outfit that Sam Fisher was wearing except we will be able to put this on our character. And according to the patch notes this is going to be piece by piece so you don't necessarily have to have the full outfit. You will be able to pick and choose different items to put on your character which is really really nice. As well as we will get the new SC40K which is an iconic Splinter Cell weapon as well as the Maxim 9 Echelon on pistol and you can't have a Sam Fisher mission without getting those iconic Sam Fisher goggles as well as there will be four brand new PvP maps called Construction Site, Forgotten Valley, Freight Yard, and Stony Creek. And that is pretty much all for the trailer and I am really excited about this DLC as well as Title Update 2.0. I feel as if this is going to breathe a lot of new life into the game itself because of all the good changes in the patch notes that I will also link that video down in the description below. I put up a video earlier today talking about all of the patch notes and I really feel as if this is the step in the right direction and being the fact that they're bringing back Sam Fisher for this DLC is absolutely fantastic but I do have to say I really wish that Ubisoft would give him his own game. Michael Ironside is not getting any younger and I would really like to see a full-pledged full-blown Splinter Cell game while he's still on the face of this earth because he is one of the most iconic characters in all of video games. So hopefully we will get a future title coming down the pipeline very soon. But overall, that's pretty much going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed it, you are excited about the Deep State DLC releasing tomorrow morning on all platforms. Make sure to drop a like on the video and also subscribe if you are new to stay up to date on all content surrounding the Deep State DLC and Ghost Recon Breakpoint moving forward. But that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.